been a violent and deadly past few days in Baton Rouge with more than a dozen people shot. Mayor President Sharon Weston Broom is now weighing in. Our Lester Douay is in the Alert Center with what she had to say, Lester. Yeah, Liz, the mayor called the crime spike concerning. She says it's the reason why they need to continue with violence prevention programs like her Summer of Hope. And I pressed her on what she has to say about people who don't feel safe here in Baton Rouge. It's been a bloody few days in Baton Rouge. With nine people shot in Baton Rouge since Saturday. Right now, Baton Rouge police are on the scene of a deadly shooting along Wilmot Street and Addison Street. The capital area just seen a, a, just a slew of violent crime here recently. Right now, three people are recovering in the hospital after being shot late last night. Indeed, uh, we cannot ignore the spike that has taken place in crime. With at least five people shot and killed since Saturday night and more than a dozen others who were shot but survived. I'm committed to reducing uh, crime. Mayor President Sharon Weston Broom says she's been told by Police Chief Murphy Paul that many of the recent shootings have been between people who knew each other and some were possibly even self-defense. At the individuals who oftentimes are engaged in criminal activity or violence are not people that uh, the average citizen would be engaged with. The mayor says before this violent spike took place, her data from police showed a 40% decrease in homicides this year. I um, cannot ignore if people do not feel safe. That is why we're going to continue to work on our programs, our initiatives. What do you say to those folks who don't feel safe in Baton Rouge? For those individuals that uh, don't feel safe, as I said, and I've heard our district attorney say this, uh, the average person should feel safe because of the people that they're connected with. Uh, if you're connected with people who may be engaging in bad behavior, uh, then the likelihood of you having an incident intensifies. But the average person in Baton Rouge should feel safe. The mayor went on to say the city is still on a good trajectory to decrease the homicide count this year, but says there is still a lot more work to do. Elizabeth. All right, Lester, do a force tonight. Thank you.